Well, it's not looking good, boys. Uh, we'll see how long we can last in this one. Oh, boy. Right, so the defense uh, just outside of Stalingrad continues. German forces are advancing. We've lost our KV-1 and a multitude of uh, vehicles and weapons and such. Uh, maybe we could do it. No, no defeatism. Let's uh, go ahead and start kicking ass. Let's get our tank over here. Let's get in gear, baby. Let's go stop that German armor up on the hill. All right, let's see. Oh, come on. Don't. There we go. Keep on rolling. Oh, boy. Oh, I just saw a couple of guys fly out of the bunker over there. All right, our 40... No, our 25-millimeter autocannons are firing at the Germans. Could possibly track... Maybe track them, which would be a good opportunity for us to take them out with the tank. But let's go ahead and stop here with the armor. And see what we can do to stop those tanks. All right. Oh, oh. Hey, hey. Bad time for the Germans. Come on now. Oh, damn, another... Another tank. Yeah, there we go. Two of them down. It's getting uh, real, like, janky here. It's, it, I'm real nervous. This is uh, tough times. The gunner was killed there on that turret of the T-34 just a moment ago. We're going to go ahead and have to reinforce that tank with the uh, crew. And was one of the guns taken out? Yep. One of the uh, 25 millimeters was obliterated. It's fine. It's giving them other targets to shoot at. Panzer IV. Too bad we've absolutely destroyed these tanks. They've just been ripped apart by uh, hitting the ammunition rack more than likely. All right, we got to get another soldier here. Come on, bro. Just keep cutting away at those German tanks. Come on, bro. Get in there. Oh, we got a half track. All right, now. Come on. Right, HE round will clear that out. Nice. And a hell of a lot of German infantry coming. we got to stop that... Uh, Wait, actually, was the Panzer IV taken out? Okay, we lost the uh, airfield to the enemy. At least the perimeter, but we'll take it back. We still have troops here. Now, where'd that uh, Stug go? Oh, there it is, parked right there. Okay, I don't want to go over there anymore. And the worst case scenario happened, we've now been tracked. Alright, let's get the uh, repairs going. Are we double tracked? I don't know why the hell he's going to the back of the tank. It's on the front right side. What the hell was that? Wow. German artillery hit the tank. We can still repair it. Still in the fight. 26 minutes to go. Auto cannons kicking ass. Do we have any sort of reinforcements at all? I've like got an AT gun and three dudes. Oh, get down. Wow, some accurate hits coming from that artillery. I think this, uh, yeah, it's Fubar at this point, isn't it? Wow, even our damn own, own auto cannon. Let's watch and see how this goes for a little bit. More artillery coming in, more mortars. That looks really cool, the smoke rolling up over the hill. Wow, that tank did a great job, though, of cutting through quite a few tanks. Multiple Panzer IVs, maybe Panzer III over here. And uh, another, I, I'm, I'm assuming another tank was probably destroyed at some point. This one here, the Panzer IV F2. Maybe through our, uh, maybe the mines. And this tank is not moving anymore either. Alright, let's attempt a uh, recapture. Uh, we could bring the small vehicle, but I don't want to. Oh, damn. Wow, that German artillery is super accurate. Uh, we just need to hold one position, I think. 
Uh, we cannot lose the... I'm assuming it's the airfield, the village, and then maybe the left flank, or they'll call it like the river crossing or something. But anyway, the left side seems to be our last hope now. No more real vehicles. Damn, that KV-1. I uh, was considering kind of like going back and seeing if I could try to get it repaired or whatnot, but it's kind of a foobar situation at this point. The Germans are going to close in up there. We could try to... Well, I think we should... Now nah, we're good. I think we just got to play this out. 24 minutes. I don't know what the hell the Germans are going to send at us over 24 minutes. And also, if we're going to get reinforcements, that would be nice. Oh, damn. Alright, phase two of their assault. Probably on the left flank now. Hopefully it bodes better than the right flank. The right flank's biggest problem was the KV-1. Although, honestly, they could have lost that to a well-placed Panzer four shot at some point, too. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Multiple tanks. We've got German reinforcements of a Panzer IV. F1, multiple troops inside the trucks probably, and then also uh, on the back of these tanks. From what I understand from you guys, the Germans use the uh, some sort of a cloth over the top of the Panzer III's to like conceal what type of version it was or whatnot. I, I'm not sure exactly. Maybe it was to keep it warm. The, the, they, they were a little chilly. They were shivering. Nah, I have no idea, but uh, I thought it was interesting when I saw that. Oh, yeah. Oh, the whole right flank. Yeah, would have fallen anyway. Actually, they're not even close to the airfield yet. It's The airfield's down here, so we could have uh, still maintained the position. And who the hell built a trench there? <laughs> the trenches should be built this way. Like, facing all the way... Ah, whatever. Alright, we got German uh, tanks attacking. Half track on the left side. There we go. Let's hit that damn half track again. Oh, I think it's down. German truck in the middle. Nice. There we go. This is where we wanted him to come to. Ooh, nice. All right, looks like they're still uh, trying to attack. I'm trying to see exactly where they're going to flank from on the minimap. On the right side, they fully stopped just outside the airfield. I mean, they're kind of pushing on it, but they're not. They're, I don't think they're going to come down to the village from there. And they've got a Panzer IV that's continuously moving. Panzer III. Nice side shot on that one. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. Man, when those tanks go, they they get absolutely obliterated. Another Panzer here. Oh, damn! Very nice. And the T-60 chewing up advancing infantry. Now, the AI has a position here that they set up before we, uh... Well, we don't have command over that, but... Uh, we have our small tank at here. It's out of fuel. And there's that small tractor. There's also that secret objective, too. I, I guess for this first playthrough, I'm just gonna have to figure out what it is by getting lucky. I really don't know. I checked around the map and, uh... Not exactly sure what it is, maybe to refuel all the tanks or something, but I honestly wish they would just... If it's going to give us some sort of tactical advantage, if they've given us all this information of where mines are and where uh, fuel can be used as an explosive and what vehicles can be repaired, and if the AI is going to dig trenches for us, then why not give us a... Uh, why not give us, throw us a bone, tell us the last thing. Okay, well, a good group of Germans have been stopped here. This left side attack, not, not as brazen, I think. Actually, they did try to attack the center at the same time. Left side, too, with the flaming wreck of the uh, half-track here that seemed to be trying to go to just behind us here. Trying to flank that defensive position. All right, we still have the problem of the German artillery, though. The uh, five-centimeter 
pack gun, but also the, uh, what was it, the mortars here? Yeah, and they're actually distributing armor quite nicely. Okay, we got a pack 40, two mortars, is that it? Germans have a two centimeter flak there. I think these were positions that I held before, yeah. With the small house near the river. Interesting attempts, though, for the Germans to try to continue their attack. Uh, let's see. So there's some sort of vehicle in here. The Germans have a position... Oh, it's a Pack 40 that they brought up. Smart to bring up an AT gun, but nothing really for them to pick away at, at least from that distance. I think it's supposed to stop us from approaching their lines and uh, finishing off their attack before it starts. German uh, reinforcements to our uh, defensive positions are probably going to come in again on the right flank and again on the left. I, I honestly think their last attack, it was kind of more focused on the center, but threatened the left flank for whatever reason. Let's see. I really want to move these tanks, but everything is just going to die. It's real. It's a real nail biter here. This mission, in the very beginning, in the first episode, you may have seen, which uh, this is part three then of the uh, three part ep. Well, hopefully this is the third part. Uh, this is absolute hell. But as you can see here, we built a massive defense, and uh, the Germans just time after time after time just got obliterated by mortars and mines, and uh, we set up a real nice uh, defensive position here. We're able to take that AT gun. Uh, that we had over on this side. We lost a few men. In comparison to the Germans, what, maybe 10 men on our side? And they probably lost 10 to 1, actually. About 100 men probably there dying. And then on this side, too. So we're really defending in a small area. Uh, but in our first episode, we were really getting lucky with um, the Germans kind of coming in a predictable pattern along the small road. They didn't even try to flank here, for example, in this position and come back across the river. And we even had a position here with a few uh, machine gunners in it and riflemen. That were able to flank the Germans as they tried to advance along the river here and also uh, here. There, there were some vehicles here that dis were destroyed. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Germans try to throw at us in 17 minutes. They're giving us a lot of time to, like, you know, counter or, well, set up our defenses, but I'm assuming this is, you know, time until the Germans either give up their attack or reinforcements arrive. It'll be one of those ura moments from Call of Duty where, you know, you're on your last uh, leg and the enemy's about to attack and then suddenly all the uh, tanks in the USSR show up. So we'll see how that plays out. Go ahead and get this guy here. Alright. Yeah, there's more mines and stuff for us to set up. I really don't think mines would be uh, very uh, effective here in the uh, village. It, it just seems better on the flanks. So they've lost every vehicle they have, except for what seems to be a... No, actually, I think this... Yeah, this uh, Stug 3 has been disabled now. So they've got nothing. We've got nothing. They've got nothing. It's a World War One situation, I guess. Well, we've got, you know, some T-60s and some uh, other stuff, but uh, what do we got for ammo here? 35-23? I think we're going to actually... Enemies coming from the south hold that position. Wait, where's that? Okay, that's the left flank again? Okay. We're a little bit better set there. I can remember... Uh, there was some supplies over here somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to grab some more AT ammo. Oh, we actually have a freaking mortar. Would you look at that? But does it have ammunition? We'll need that on the left side. Stop that infantry and possibly half-tracks from getting close. Let's do a little status report. Okay, this. I think this is the mortar that I brought over from before. I was hoping we could reuse it. It's been a couple of days since I've played, so I'm just trying to relive my moves from before. Looks like artillery's coming in. Uh oh. Ah, uh, this is a hint of what might be coming to the left flank. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I need to find out where that ammo is. I think it's one of these boxes here. 
Are those mortars that they're firing? Why would the Germans do that? Oh, that's kind of cool, though. They, they flanked this way. I was wondering why they were going off the map, but it's more like they're attacking. I honestly would spread out across the river uh, bed and try to cross that way, but okay. Well, let's go ahead and get these rounds offloaded. We're going to have to support the left flank. It's the only way. So let's get this AT gun here. we got to stay out of range of those damn mortars. The right side was really in trouble for that. They had uh, two mortars against them and a good amount of uh, actual decent tanks. Let's see. We'll set up here. Oh, Germans have an ooh, auto, auto cannon on that car. No, thank you. Oh, we can hit him from here. Well, HE is not a great, not a great thing to have loaded, boys. Change to AP. There we go. There we go. We'll stop him. We're going to try to wipe out all these vehicles we can. So these are uh, some actually captured uh, vehicles. These are French captured vehicles here, I think. These guys are driving around like crazy. Well. Okay, we got one more tank that broke through. Oh, it's just a half track. Okay. Oh, and the, damn it. They wiped out our 76. Damn. Let's uh, wipe this vehicle out. Let's see if we can get this guy back here to lob a grenade. Okay. We should be able to throw a grenade in there. Oh, actually, wait. Is this a friendly? Wait. Wow. The Soviets stopped the advance with their face. That guy literally stopped the German advance with his face. Thanks for holding him still, comrade. That is now our vehicle. Although it probably is... Nah, we could capture it, but honestly we're better in the trenches at this point. Alright, ten minutes remaining. Uh, we just got a little cleanup to do, I guess. Oh, okay. Whoa, and another explosion from all the uh, AT guns. Alright, two out of three. Positions are in our command. I'm just... 
Again, I'm just kind of furiously watching this minimap to see where the Germans are going to launch their next attack. Some nice explosions going on from our side, but we, ju we just need men. Like, <laughs> we, we need to have a few more dudes in these trenches. That's uh, The problem we had from the very beginning was that we had... Uh, well, actually, it was quite decent. At the very start, we had a good amount of uh, good amount of troops. And uh, we didn't have enough uh, defenses. And then eventually we built some more defenses. And then the opposite was the case. We had way too many defenses and not enough men after building with all the engineers. We're down to nine minutes. Vehicle was repaired. I'm assuming that's probably a small uh, truck or something. I don't know. Nine minutes. Where else could they attack? It's got to be in the center again. we got to take this AT gun back. Uh, where's our good hideout? Oh, right here. Wow, we didn't even get that far. I think we're going to hunker that down just in case. The Germans are just chilling there. Honestly, we could we could just go back and easily capture that position after this defense is over. Uh, this vehicle here needs fuel. Is it this one too? Yeah, they both need fuel. Su-76 is probably functional, but the crew is dead. Oh, we actually have an AT gun here. No wonder I didn't know it was there. Wait, is that gun auto-firing? Wait, what the hell? Oh, wait, no no wonder I didn't know it was there. The crew is dead, but it's somehow managing to fire on its own. Wait, what? Okay, the Soviets have an... No wonder I didn't know what was going on on the left side. I saw something destroying the uh, tanks and assumed it was the Su-76, but when that was destroyed, I swear I saw some more fire. But... Oh, more, more people killed. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the Pack 40. And there's random AI running out there, so... I guess they're getting killed for no reason. Alright, seven minutes. Uh, there's got to be another attack. I really want to try to recapture that up, that uh, position in the upper right corner, but let's see what it actually says. Uh, fortify the positions in the village and prepare for enemy attack. That should already be done, I guess. That should just tell you, like, what you have to do before the attack starts. So that one should be an auto-complete. And then hold the villages. That'll be basically the main objective when the mission's over. I wonder if this secret objective will still happen. Maybe we'll get, like, a, a random vehicle or something to come through friendlies, but they came to the wrong location. What's going on here? Oh, wait. Oh, this could be the secret objective here. Maybe there's, like, some friendly POWs or something that uh, the AI, when it retreated, is reacting to. Could be something in that upper left, upper right corner. Don't really want to launch a counterattack there. Even w with the uh, KV-1, the Pac-40 uh, chewed us right up. And unfortunately, we don't have any sort of uh, position for munition. We don't have any sort of way to actually, like... Uh, We don't have any sort of position here to, like, actually counterattack from. Not enough men. No mortars. And wait. Oh, yeah, this German 20mm uh, <laughs> that's pointed that way for whatever reason. That's from the uh, first episode, though, where the Germans then try to come with the 20mm to displace you from all the trenches. Man, if only I could have command of all the troops here. At least give us maybe six to eight more men. Oh, and they're mortaring the hell out of this position now. Oh, wait, what the hell? Friendly position, friendly gun. I can't even control this gun. Yeah, I don't think this crew was supposed to die. Actually, I don't even know what happened to them. I think... Maybe their AI made them rush forward, but the game still... Oh, maybe they're here. I don't know. I do like the fact that the gun is autonomous now. What the hell is it shooting at? I think it's trying to kill troops over there, but it's so funny. It's like shooting way too far. 
Well, actually, no, that, that's within range. Okay, well, we got about five minutes. I don't see any other uh, attack coming. We don't really need the right side. I wonder if we have to have three out of three positions secured at the end. I hope that's not actually the case. Uh, hold the village. Hold the checkpoint. Gather for briefing. Well, the checkpoint would be... Oh, that's actually a previous objective. So really, we just need the village. Uh, but the two flanks are important for holding it, but the Germans are not even launching an attack. At this point, uh, what we probably could do is if, uh, if the Germans stopped attack, well, if they don't get any more reinforcements, we could probably somehow get a man to, you know, crawl around the low gra uh, grounds and lob a grenade at the Pac-40. It probably wouldn't be able to turn and burn on us. Uh, we'd be able to come up here with some sort of vehicle. Possibly the T-60 and kill all the troops here and flank behind that other Pack 40 So that would be two AT guns down. Uh, third one, actually here, uh, Pack 38 So we could get multiple AT guns down. And then the 20mm the would be the most difficult to take out since we don't have a T-34 anymore. But we can easily go over here and just capture a Stuk 3 or preferably the Panzer IV Offs F2. Be a good, that'd be a good weapon to take over. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, see what the Germans do in three minutes. Their attacks have been actually really sweet, though. It's been cool to see them, like, come on in in convoys and stuff. I think it'd be even more epic if they attacked all at once, but uh, I guess it doesn't give you the chance to kind of defend on three fronts with full satisfaction of watching what's going on. Within three minutes, I don't think the Germans are even going to try to launch an attack again. We could try to counterattack. Gonna have to figure out how to do the fuel thing then, so let's try that out. Ah, uh, you can stay there. Let's grab this guy again. I think this guy... Wait, let's see here. Grab a fuel barrel. Wait, has that got no fuel in it? 20 out of 210. Oh, that sucks. Wait, that's it? Ah, uh, it's probably to prevent us from fueling up our vehicles too far. Uh, what do we got here? Empty, empty, empty. Wait, how come these say empty and these say 0 out of 30? We can also siphon fuel from these trucks, too. I think there's a way to do that. Okay, is that, is that working? Okay, so we should be able to watch the fuel here. So we have 127 now. There should be a way to siphon fuel. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and drop the barrel. I think we can just select a grenade. There you go. Okay, and then we can just go into our position there. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. This thing's pretty damn fuel efficient, so if we want to, we can just go retake the right side, which consists of just killing all the troops there. Germans rally point to just here. Would be nice that if the Germans... Uh, I hope in the future development of the game, it'd be kind of cool that if the Germans took a position from you, they would then try to fortify it, and you would then have to counterattack it. This mission could also use maybe a little bit of... Sprink uh, just a sprinkling of reinforcements, just because it's like, you've got this big line, but... Uh, maybe of the entire 30 minutes, we've had maybe 10 minutes of actual uh, action. But it's been a nail-biter. I don't, I don't know exactly if the Germans are done with their attack or if we have to counterattack. Some of these missions do require you to go back across the map. Here they come now. It's going to be a pain in the ass to clear out the Germans. Because typically they will hide in those trenches. Get wrecked, though.
There we go. Alright, we got a few more. And one more. Oh, that guy's going to be a pain in the ass to kill. He's laying down. Find cover. There we go. And one more guy's on the way. The high ground is ours again. Good. So it recognized that we counterattacked and recaptured. That's pretty cool. Well, to be fair, the Germans can't really get more reinforcements than, you know, what they had, I suppose, with it being limited in uh, this sector. And there we go. We helped, the, uh, helped by the appalling weather and their growing battle experience. The Red Army held the line. Perfect. Now that's exactly what I want to see. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for the third part. I think from here on out, we're going to start looking at mods in this game and see what we can do for, uh, you know, playing more of uh, maybe Sir Henkel's missions and other more mission-based mods until we have something big come out, like perhaps another realism mod, like Rob's realism. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.